talking about batteries. In solar applications, there's two main types of solar batteries. There's the lithium batteries, and there's also the lead acid batteries. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on two types of lead acid batteries. The first one is your standard flooded batteries. So a couple examples right here. They come six volt, 12 volt, different variations, different sizes. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the voltage, the amp hours of the batteries. And so that's something to keep in mind as you shop for which battery is right for your application. So we have our, our flooded batteries and our AGM batteries. So talking a little bit about our flooded batteries, these batteries have a low upfront cost, fairly cheap comparative to your AGM or your lithium batteries. The downside is they do require some maintenance. So you're gonna to have to maintain the water level in them, maybe perform some equalization charges throughout the lifespan of the battery. And you wanna do that to ensure that it has a long lifespan. Another thing to be conscious of with these flooded batteries is the fumes they emit. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to have them in a ventilated area if this is the type of battery you're gonna go with. So on the flip side, you have the AGM batteries. These batteries cost a little bit more up front, but they require very little maintenance. They're a sealed battery. You don't have to mess with the water levels. It's sealed. Also, they don't emit any fumes like the flooded batteries. So that's one of the benefits of the AGM batteries. These batteries are a little bit more temperamental in extreme temperatures, extreme hot and cold. So that's something to take into consideration when shopping for these batteries. So in summary, you have your flooded batteries, low upfront costs, do require more maintenance. The AGM batteries, higher upfront cost, but they're sealed, doesn't require a lot of maintenance. If maintained properly, the flooded batteries will last just as long as the AGM batteries have the same amount of life cycles. So with these batteries, so some come in six volts, 12 volts, you, know, you have different size battery banks, your, your 12, 24, 48, by wiring these batteries in series, you're able to get up to 48 volts. So say for example, you got a six volt, you can combine multiple six volt batteries to, to get to a 48 volt battery bank. And you do that by wiring them in series, by connecting the positive terminal on one battery to the negative of the other and daisy chain them in, in that manner. And then you can also increase the capacity of your battery bank by wiring them in parallel that will prevent the battery bank from increasing in voltage size, and, but will also allow you to get the full amount of amp hours from the battery. You can find more information about these batteries and about wiring in series parallel on our website, sandtownsolar.com, the one-stop shop for all your solar panels.